We have answered the age-old question of who was on Colorado. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's go through this offseason. I at least want to see who's the tendy. Fuck it. Too late. Too late. Let's, um... Let's go ahead and look to set things up a little bit here. I at least want to know kind of what our roster is going to look like. So those UFA goalies we can let go of, they're terrible. Uh, Got to qualify Jamie Drysdale. And to be honest, everybody else can go. <laughs> everybody else can go. They were just filler for the year. Uh, we are going to have to qualify Ryan Merkley. And we're good aside from that. On the wing... Reeves, Levo, we're going to let go of those guys. Let's uh, keep Zion, Zion, whatever. Let go of Nuber. Uh, left wing side, got to be honest, everybody can go. Everybody can go. We're going to uh, only hold on to the young guys. That way, I mean, granted, money is not really a problem. But we're going to start working some of these younger guys into the lineup next season. I want to make sure we have the, uh, the proper spots. I want to make sure we got those proper spots. Goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. All right. Keeping Kivirant. Yeah, that's right. I should keep Kivirant. I totally looked right over him. Thank you. Thank you. Captain to Five million! Worth it. Worth it. Why is Lambert RFA now? Because is the EA game going to EA game? Okay, he's, he's being a bit selfish. Fuck him. <laughs> In that instance, he's being a little bit selfish with the money. He can he can kick rocks. He can kick rocks. So, really quickly then. Obviously, we're going to have to uh, switch over the coaching staff and stuff like that, too. And I am intrigued to see just how much of the staff is like available. So, goalie-wise, we are still stuck with Ottinger and Grubauer. Gossip didn't get better. Hopefully, he does at the start of the season. So we will need uh, an AHL uh, backup. Defensively, I mean, quite a few of these guys we should be able to factor in for NHL spots. Honestly, same for the forwards. Same for the forwards. All right. Let's see who's out there. Alex DeBrinkett's out there. Troy Terry. Timo Meyer, Rupe Hints. No one seems to be asking for, uh, I think, more than they would have gotten otherwise. Let's see, goalies. I mean, there are a couple of couple of guys out there. Olivier Rodrigue would fit pretty well. Someone like Eustace just doesn't fit the team at all, though, at this stage. But Olivier Rodrigue, Sebastian Casa in the um, in the AHL would be pretty decent. Olivier Rodrigo. You got it. You got it. Defensively. RFAs. Drysdale's the big one. UFA defenseman. It's not great. Let's be honest. It's not great. I don't really think it's worth bringing in any of these guys and screwing us out of higher draft picks. It's not great in terms of outright prospects either. It's not great. Then for the forwards, RFAs, Brinkett, Meyer, Terry, Hints. Yeah, I mean, not great. And then, yeah, not a great free agent class either. We are going to keep the slow and steady approach at this stage. Dominic Bach is the only UFA prospect I'd actually want. And again, unfortunately, you know, with an EA roster... So a lot of prospects who get absolutely shafted with uh, pretty much unusable potentials. That's that's the best way to sum it up. Pretty much unusable potentials. Oh boy, what do we got? What do we got for scouts? Not much. Not much. We're not really going to be able to optimize this all that much. Mr. Sinski for the Winsky. Highly unnecessary. On YouTube. Running his own franchise mode, of course. <laughs> Running his own. Check out my boy. 
So we're trying to see if we can get any numbers together. So far, it's uh, it's a bit spotty, it appears. But we'll see what happens. At the very least, it led to uh, you know, you dropping the reset. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's see what happens here. Free agency. Free agency. What do we got? We'll send the idea of people actually playing NHL is pretty rough, you know. Got Dominic Bach, Olivier Rodrigo. That's it. <laughs> Those were the only players I went after. <laughs> 26 players under contract. Sim the next season. Sim the next season. Not, uh, not much else one can do. There's not much else. I mean, Jamie Drysdale needs to be signed, but he's an RFA. So we should, you know, we should be okay. Should be okay. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. As long as it doesn't auto sign players for me until the end of the preseason, which it didn't. We do need to uh, get Drysdale under contract, though. Jamie, let's talk. How about a nice little four year deal? I will. Uh, I mean, the 85% trick probably still works. Now's a good time to experiment around, take the number. Multiply it by 0.85 and uh, see what, oh my god, see what you can do. And uh, unfortunately, typing on the old calculator app right now is really failing me. We'll go 6 million flat for five years for Mr. Drysdale and see if he is willing to take that. Definitely does. Ah, since already been already been working it, I see. I see, I see. So goalie-wise, Ottinger, Grubauer. Koss is now backup level. Let's have him be the AHL starter. Uh, so we'll have Merkley, Edvinson, obviously uh, Mr. Drysdale, Korchinski. So you see how top six now counts for 76 rated players. Interesting. <laughs> Texky, what's up? Taxi, go to bed. Don't you have to work? What the hell? If not, let's play. Evanson, Merkley, Korchinski. I mean, that's... Yeah, we're going to play the kids. So three, four, five, six. Korshak can go down. We're going to play the kids this year. We're just going to have to sign rando veterans. And for our forwards, it's 10, 11, 12. Osland at 13. I work afternoons now. Hell yeah, brother. 230, 10. Damn. Get that game in time back in there, then, huh? Uh, we could use a couple of forwards. Cool. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this roster settled. Let's get this roster settled. Who won it all last year? The Vegas Golden Knights. Sorry, Crash. I know you're fucking with them, but it's just I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. All right. Defensively. Who do we want to bring in for the year? We're the old guys. Shea Weber, baby. Not going to properly LTIR him. Shea Weber. Cody Franzen. Kyle Kamiski. Jordy Ben. Jordy Ben. Former uh, Boston Bruin Andrew Bodnerchuk. I paid to fuck with him, though. It's true. Blow up your spot, brother. Uh, and then forward-wise, yeah, we don't want anyone who's actually good, so who are the vets? Ryan Kessler. Ryan Kessler. Nigel Dawes. Oh, we found <laughs> we found Endo's captain for his franchise mode, Nigel Dawes. Big, big fan of Nigel Dawes that he is. Uh, Adam Cracknell, why not? Adam Cracknell. Louis Erickson, let's see if he rejects us two years in a row. Laurie Korpakowski, just all the old guys, you know? Insulate the young talent with a bunch of old dudes. That's 13 contracts, I believe. We can keep going. <laughs> when, you, <laughs> when you order Tomas Hurdle on Wish.com. What is this guy's name? <laughs> of course. Oh my god, my new favorite shark. 
Tomash Myrtle. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. That's that's delightful. That is delightful. He'd get a roster spot on the Sharks right about now, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. I'm signing him. I'm signing him. We got him. <laughs> Sin, it's the equivalent of like, the Sharks got Svechnikov! Evgeny! <laughs> the Sharks kept Mur The Sharks kept him. The Sharks kept Tomas! Hurdle? Myrtle! <laughs> oh, it's absolutely beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Not as good as if Kenny Galkin. That's not real! How? How is that real? Frickin' Evgeny Galkin. How have I never heard of this man in my life? The roster nerd I am, I've never heard of this guy. That's incredible. That's incredible. <laughs> God damn. That is, that is absolutely beautiful. Alright. All these old men out of the retirement home and onto the Toronto Marlies. Beautiful. Beautiful. The best part is he wore 71. Well, he knew. Like, he had to have known the joke at that point, you know? Like, that's just running with the joke, and I respect his sense of humor. Alright, let's see. NHL captain Nigel Dawes, who says no? What if we drop Clutterbuck? 11-12 with Ostland. We will still play Josh Anderson. Mebex is a 71. Of course, we kept the same coach because it wasn't going to make that much of a difference. Again, the button change to left stick instead of Y for preferred lines gets me every damn time. So it sticks. Noah Ostland on the bench, so we will put him in the Manez. See what we got. See what we got. We'll have to set up the AHL as well. Okay, I didn't want to fully back out. I tried to view NHL lines. That's that's a new little little problem. So based off of who can play where. Don't have too many uh too many natural right wings here. Not too many. Someone's gonna have to play out of position on the right. Uh Lambert, 71 face offs. Geeky, 67. Casper, 75. 62 for center Matt Savoy. Well, I guess they were gonna fix face offs in Hut, but that doesn't translate over to franchise mode, huh? That's good to know. That's good to know. I mean, in terms of the Lions, I mean, yeah, we'll shelter the the lower-rated dudes. We'll have Savoy over Bach. Get Savoy off that team. Absolutely not. He's going to be a stud. And I mean, I have Eklund here for, for Sin as well, you know? We got all the boys. Defensively. That works. That works. It's a young defense, but it's a good one. What are you going to do about the NHL prospects who are on SHL teams to the 48 franchise? Not give a shit. <laughs> That's the answer. Not give a shit is my answer. That's why I fantasy drafted, so I didn't have to worry about, like, oh, well, this prospect's on for Lunda, but for Lunda's an AHL team, what happens? That's exactly why I did a fantasy draft, did not have to care. You've cracked the code as to why it's a 48 team fantasy draft. So I don't have to care. <laughs> And once I'm actually done editing my rosters, needless to say, it will not be a 48-team fantasy draft. There was 100% a reason why I did what I did. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get any of these guys out of there. Oh, we got to get Myrtle in there. Teenage Mutant Ninja Myrtle. And then Ryan Kessler. We don't have any actual prospects there. Let's get Nigel Dawes on that higher line. Yep, this is just a really old team. It's 
all it is it's just a really old team fair enough fair enough I'm trying to get a little bit more skill next to rot <laughs> So our AHL squad might have a chance at making another Calder Cup run, but we have taken a lot of the youth off of that team. They are now at the NHL level. And uh, we're going to let the kids be the ones to just get... Uh, going to let the kids be the ones to just get... Uh, God damn it. I'm going to get canceled if I say this joke. But, you know... All right, let's go for it. Let's see if I get canceled. We're going to live, uh, lead the kids to be the ones to get slaughtered. It's the American way, and while we're controlling a Canadian team, I am American. Okay, there we go. It's, it wasn't even that bad, let's be honest. It wasn't even that bad of a joke. USA, USA. Anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to be terrible. <laughs> We're going to be absolutely terrible. Uh, I will switch. That's a light one. I know, but some people, I know you never know. You never know. It's a light one because you're <laughs> fair enough. Uh, captaincy. Thought you were going to say something worse. You know, I was tempted. I, I worded it nicely. Is what I'll say. Uh, we oh, dude, easily, easily. I mean, we got Drysdale, we got Hughes, and the next letter does it go to Eklund or Savoy? Who? Do, which one of my friends do I want to piss off more? Oh, I could give it to Genther. So Deke Slayer's factored into this too. But I think for his clutch playoff performance, Jan Misak gets the letter. We got to give it to the Misak. You know? We got to do it. We got to do it. And with that, I think we are Otter for Captain. I wish. What the hell are the uh, team ratings? What the hell are the team ratings for the season? That's That's the Leafs home jersey, huh? You sure? Are we in 2004? Did the uh, Leafs change their jerseys back? Um, there we go. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Anyway, I wanted to look at our ratings. 80, 76, and then 86. We are going to be terrible. Ah, oh, yes, the black retinas. These jerseys suck. Anyone who says otherwise, I question your taste. The, the hue of blue is great. Don't you tell me that jersey's good. Don't you do it. I don't want to have to think less of you. For calling that a good jersey. Please. I'd like to still be able to look at you the same way. To treat you with the same amount of respect. Unless you're an Avs fan. In which case, no simpy. <laughs> oh, God. Goodness. Oh, the... Uh, yeah, that's true. They don't have the reversibles in the game, do they? That jersey's good for $5 at a value village. Fucking shots fired. God damn. God damn. Jersey Gray is a fire starter. They're better in person. Like I said, though, I like I do agree. Like the shade of blue on them is great, but is it a great jersey though? No, it's still better than like Dallas's or Detroit's reverse retro. But when that's that's the comparison, you understand how that's a problem, right? You understand how that's a problem, right? I would hope so, at least. I would hope so. Uh, yeah, good time to save here, right before the start of a new season.